So let's get our full next weather forecast with meteorologist Tammy Souza. How's it looking, Tammy? Well, you know what? It's perfect to go indoors tonight because it's kind of chilly today. So watch that game indoors and then be prepared to have some warmth move your way for tomorrow and Sunday. We're just going to be watching showers perhaps the second part of Sunday. But, you know, as Natasha pointed out, we have a mix of sun and clouds across the city. It is chilly, but it's not half bad. We've seen so much worse. Uh, we don't have any snow in the forecast, at least not through the weekend. And look at this. We need it. Uh, the uh, least snowy season was 1972-73. Nothing fell that season. Uh, 2019 and 20, just a few years ago, three tenths of an inch fell. Uh, we are looking at eight tenths in 97-98, two inches in 49-50. And then in the 2000s, there were two winters that only had four inches of snow. I bring this up because we have had none so far and our average snowfall is 23.1 inches. We could end up being another snowless winter. I think we're looking like we're going to be a snowless January for sure. So we'll just have to wait and see. February is usually kind of a busy month. We'll wait and see if the pattern sets up for us. 38 in Philadelphia right now, 36 in Kutztown. Brigantine, you are at 37 degrees. It feels like 30 in Atlantic City right now with that wind chill. 32 in Philadelphia and in Reading, you feel like 32. So you do need to pull that jacket a little tighter for today with that wind chill. We do have sunshine, but we have clouds that are drifting through the area on Storm Scan 3. And you can see there are some snow showers up near the Poconos. Well, we may actually get a flurry there, but not elsewhere. We do have a little bit of a busy pattern with these snow showers coming through and then a little bit of a break. You see a, a system coming through Chicago. You're thinking, okay, is that our next weather maker? No, it's not. The next weather maker is just dropping in out of Canada into the Pacific Northwest. It has to dive down toward Denver and then eject in our direction. That's the one we're watching for Sunday night. So here's what happens as we roll through. There's the system. Here it comes. It's going to pick up some moisture from the Gulf. Now we're into Sunday and here we are. We're about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning. This model is pushing these showers into the Lehigh Valley. We'll watch as it moves through. It is gone by just after game time. So this model is saying we're going to have some showers during the game. I don't know. Those big systems that drop in out of the Pacific Northwest, sometimes they're a little slower. The last one was, the one before that was. So we're going to uh, look at the glass being half full. We're going to say, yes, this may be a little bit slower. The showers will be in at some point Sunday evening. I'm thinking maybe right after the game. Here's what we're looking at. That slight chance of a shower Sunday and into early Monday, Tuesday night and Wednesday. Wednesday is the one we're keeping a close eye on because that one could bring us a mix of rain and snow, just like the last several have. Temperature today, you're going to be topping out right around 41. You'll have that sunshine out there and then the clouds will build in this evening and then we'll be partly cloudy overnight. 50 for tomorrow. We should be about 41 this time of year. So this is a gift from Mother Nature. It's a good sign for the birds, right? And we are going to be looking at 52 on Sunday at kickoff, 49 degrees. It will be cloudy. We will get these showers in here in the evening, but let's be positive after the game. Everybody think positive. Uh, we're looking <laughs> at uh, 50 on Monday, 43 Tuesday, increasing clouds. There is a chance of that next storm system bringing precipitation in on Wednesday and Thursday. We'll have to keep a close eye on that. Go birds, Natasha. Positive thinking for yeah. Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we're going to will away that, that rain. Thank you so much, Tammy.